Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it continues to stay exceptionally unsettled as we head into the first full week of November. Lots of frequent showers pushing in from the south and the west and at times some of the longer spells of rain as well. The winds could pick up at times, not looking at anything too stormy at this stage. No real big systems moving through, but it's still going to be gusty. And just as I said, a very unsettled start. Typical autumnal conditions. Now, the other, on the other hand, it is going to be fairly mild, although we are seeing lots of unsettled and you know, pretty horrific conditions, if we're being honest. It's being powered by a southwesterly wind, so we've actually got some really quite mild air masses, and at times it could even be into the mid to high teens across especially eastern England, um, especially into this upcoming working week. Longer term, though, we are definitely looking at a change as we head into the middle of the month. High pressure blocking looks like it is going to return. In what capacity? Still yet to be determined. But once again, all three runs are showing a change around that day 10 period. GFS does actually show perhaps northerly winds starting to arrive. GM's just more amplified. Um, so it could be on the cusp of something a little bit drier and colder. We'll have to wait and see with that run. And then, of course, looking at the ECMWF, which has just run, it is looking very blocked as well. Lots of high pressure around across the North Atlantic and the UK again. Could set up a very interesting second half of November. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, if you start on the live radar, I'll call this a little bit later on on Saturday evening, around half seven. And you can see we have seen some dry conditions today, but also some frequent showers. We had a few really hefty thundery showers moving through eastern England. They're clearing out uh, with the southwesterly wind. Although, yes, it's milder and those showers are uh, bigger and beefier. They do rattle through quite quickly because of the stronger wind. So these showers clearing relatively quickly with a few following in behind. Some more widespread showers across the of Ireland, Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Are pretty typical in this sort of pattern. If you look at the temperatures, it's set around half seven. You can see further north and westwards, it's colder, where we do have some colder air drifting in. Again, we're just oscillating between cooler and milder Atlantic air masses, slightly milder in the south and the east. Generally, though, into next week, we are going to be more on the side of milder than average, just because that southwesterly wind is going to be so strong. Now, if you look at the latest UKV, you can see all of those hefty showers clearing through earlier this afternoon. And as we head into Sunday, we're going to see another band of really heavy showers that should clear by around the mid to late morning. As we head through into the afternoon, it doesn't actually look too bad. A few odd showers around, but generally speaking, relatively pleasant and dry. Into the evening, another spell of really heavy rain arrives through the early hours of Monday. Focus in the north and west, but should drift southwards and eastwards at times. So pretty soggy start to Monday there, before it all does start to slowly clear during Monday afternoon. Still very cloudy, and we see another spell of really heavy rain moving in for Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, and Scotland there. That is going to continue to push eastwards, and is going to bring further precipitation through much of Monday evening into the early hours of Tuesday. Tuesday is still pretty cloudy. And we are going to see some areas of rain, but we are going to see them a little bit fewer and far between, and it's going to be a little bit drier overall. Into the evening, into Wednesday, we do start to see some further heavy rain, unfortunately, across the south. So we see another low approach from the south instead of the southwest, so turning more of a southerly there come Wednesday. So very mild, but of course, lots of heavy rain as that clears northwards, spiraling away as we head into Wednesday and Thursday and more spells of rain. Because so it's not going to be, you know, we're not going to see precipitation all the time, but a lot of the time there is going to be somewhere that is going to be seeing a dumping of rain. Uh, unfortunately, that is the kind of pattern we're going to see with this west to southwesterly wind, maybe even southerly at times. It is going to be very unsettled, but as I said, with the upper air temperatures, it's going to be very mild. Look at all those oranges up towards potentially the double digits at 850 HPA, which is a good five to maybe eight degrees above average for the time of year. So very mild indeed. If you look at the max temperatures, you can see not too bad today, probably hovering around average, high single digits or low teens. Into Sunday, it's a little bit of a chilly start, but by the afternoon, temperatures do, uh, do not get too high, but maybe 10 to 12 degrees in this colder sector. Into Monday, it's a chilly start, but by the afternoon, milder air is pushing in, and look at this, 15, maybe 16 degrees by the middle of the afternoon. And as we head into Tuesday, it turns milder once again, 15 or even 16 degrees, and the same could probably be said there for Wednesday, maybe even 17 degrees, so very mild with that southwesterly wind. And finally Thursday, 
could even get up to 17, maybe 18 if we're lucky. So yeah, looking very mild, but unfortunately very unsettled throughout the first week of November. Now, if you look at the latest GFS, you see the westerly winds pushing in at the moment, and you see they more veer southwesterly during the week, and that's why it's so mild but unsettled. Longer term, though, as we progress into the middle portion of the month, look at this high pressure pushes in. Now, initially, it pushes in over the top of us towards Scandinavia, so it would be probably just dry but staying relatively mild. But what happens in the subsequent period is the high moves northwards and perhaps westwards. We open the door to perhaps northerly winds by the end of this run. You see this high pressure is migrating towards Greenland. Low pressure is migrating towards Scandinavia. And look at this, it's opening the doors to a very cold northerly wind. Now, we're not cold at this point on this frame, but it looks like it could arrive in the subsequent hours and days. Again, we're not seeing really too much consistency longer range. In, in, in sort of the pattern, but all runs now for that longer range period are starting to show a change, starting to show high pressure blocking, more amplification in the jet stream, and this GFS run is no different. Now, if you look at the latest GM, very similar over the coming days with the west to southwesterly wind as we head out towards day 10. Brief ridges of high pressure and right towards day 10, you can start to see that evolution occurring, high pressure extending towards Greenland. It's not a massive block yet, um, but definitely amplification appearing there and that would unlock perhaps a bit of a colder northeasterly wind in the subsequent days i will stress we're not looking at anything ridiculous it's of course still mid-november you know cold potential is kind of the final week of november into early december uh, and we'd have to see you know a proper north or northeasterly to be seeing that uh, at this stage though we are just looking at more speculatively at that longer range and of course if you looked at our uh, most recent winter look ahead that we released early this week on tuesday we did have a pretty strong signal for a cold first portion of winter, so November through to January. Um, so that's what we're really watching out for. Are the longer range predictions, the Met Office contingency plan, is that going to be fairly in line with what we're seeing uh, from the operational runs uh, sort of kind of on the day to day? So that's what we're looking out for. We're starting to see hints that perhaps could push us in that direction. If you look at the ECM that we have to finish off, again, a westerly flow continues. And then look at this. Around next weekend, we see extensive high pressure blocking towards Greenland. Now, at this stage, we're not pulling in anything particularly cold as we've got no low pressure pulling southwards. So it's actually a relatively, you know, it's a chilly pattern. You know, there is you know, nothing too warm over the top of us. It's fairly stationary, not much going on. So probably be frosty, chilly, but hopefully sunny. But you can see there is cold air flooding in from the northeast that looks like it could try to make an entrance. And actually, you can see up to 288 hours, you can see a very cold run start to appear here from the ECMWF, perhaps even trying to pull in northeasterly winds here. Again, it's a bit of a battle between milder air to the south and colder air to our north. But regardless, it'd be very interesting to see what this shows once it's fully run. As it could be exceptionally cold there if we start to drag in some of that air from the northeast. So another very interesting ECMWF run today. Again, they're not all in line and it won't be showing this tomorrow. But it just stresses that there is a change afoot as we head into the middle of the month. And finally, if we look at the latest ensembles, you can see mild this week and settled. And longer term, more towards average and some quite cold runs appearing. Again, no concrete data for that, but definitely something colder, but remaining fairly unsettled at this stage. Again, no huge, huge overwhelming signal, but still seeing those hints uh, that continue to increase in probability. If we look at the dew points, they also are dropping off quite a lot longer term, just generally falling off and some really cold ones appearing. Again, that's symbolic of a colder, drier air mass. Sea level pressure rising slowly longer term. That's again in line with that driest kind of pattern. And if we look at the two metre temperatures, you can see they're fairly mild this week, but again, inevitably dropping off further through November. And if we finish looking at the latest ECMWF, the midday run, unfortunately hasn't come out, so we'll look at the midnight run. Very similar, relatively mild over the next week. Uh, pretty much unsettled for the foreseeable future, no real changes with the precipitation front, and a slow drop off in upper air temperatures longer term. There's not, again, an overwhelming signal longer term, but there's more and more colder runs to appear today compared to yesterday, for example. So again, that is an interesting development. So let's wait and see exactly what happens, but another very interesting ECMWF run today does definitely give some fairly strong hints that a, a change could be coming. If it does come, then we could be looking at potentially a real big change 
perhaps a cold and maybe even dry middle period of the month. And maybe if the runs you know, kind of continue on this uh, sort of foot with this kind of being a proper pattern change you know, lasting a couple of weeks, then we could be looking at some early wintry weather later on in November. But it is a big could. And we'll have to wait and see what happens over the coming days and not weeks. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.